Seth Meyers and his wife, Alexi Ash, recently celebrated their daughter Adelaide's first birthday, but it wasn't exactly a blowout. We did that thing that parents do which is we focus so much on taking a cute video of her with her cake that she put out the candle with her fingers and immediately started to cry, my ears, 48. Exclusively told Page Six, at the Natural Resources Defense Council's Night of Comedy Benefit, in New York City, on Tuesday. The Late Night with Seth Meyers host explained, that mercifully, their two sons, Ash, 6, and Axel, 4, acted fast, and shoved cake, in her mouth. The moment passed quickly, but it was a very damning video because what we intended to be cute now could just be evidence for the prosecution, my ears joked. The comedian revealed last November that his attorney wife, 39, welcomed their newest bundle of joy sometime in September 2021. Although he told us that her birthday just passed, my ears, who wed Dash in 2013, gushed about his wife on their ninth wedding anniversary earlier, this month. Nine years ago today Alexi Ash was, in the ER with a bad bout of food poisoning. If anyone ever had an, excuse to back out of a, wedding it was her, but she went through with it, and we've been married ever since. Her performance, the day was a, microcosm of who she is, a fighter who is always, at her best no matter the circumstances. My ears caption day, photo of her from their wedding day. The Saturday Night Live Alum hosted the event benefiting the organization's work to fight climate change. Comedy greats Mike Birbiglia, Michael Che, Chloe Fineman, Nick Kroll, and Hassan Minaj also took the stage to perform. First of all I think it's a great organization, second of all I think out of any of these events, this might be the most fun because it's mostly just comedians doing sets, and a lot of comedians I'm a big fan of, my ears explained. The NRDC honored the night of comedy founder, Anna Scott Carter, who told us that administrations come and go. But the NRDC is always there, and doing work to protect our clean air and clean water.